Hello and welcome to this mod review for these Landini Legend tractors off the Giants in game mod hub. So I'm afraid these are PC only on there currently. So it's not a brand which is licensed in the game. So we've got three models in this range. We've got Landini Legend 140, 160 and 180 TDI. We've got various wheel and tower options and two front weight options. No option for front linkage unfortunately. Got the smaller weights on this one and the full set on these two. We've also got the standard stall loader brackets on the 160, which is the only option for the loader bracket. We've only got trolley bulk tyres as well, so there's no great amount of tyre choice. Got 650s on those two, so I forgot to select wide tyres for this one and duels on this one so they look nicely detailed to be fair it's ain't nothing glaringly obvious around the back of them and when we get in the cab there's nothing glaringly obvious like missing gear sticks from a manual transmission tractor so you got a nice um let's try one without the dual wheels where we can get a bit closer nice detail on the engine there Shame they haven't got the um, see through grills on them. Possibly because the radiator is missing under the bonnet by the looks of it. If you don't stand there, you won't notice. That's me being picky. It's a small detail there. So, all very well textured. Can't see anything um, looks really out of place on them. So all tractors are identical in the cab, so we're going to go with this one. Well, now I can see something glaringly obvious, which is a mistake. Um, well, I guess that answers what tractor these are based on. So this has been passed by Giants as Landini, and it's got Star and Mudguards on the front still. <laughs> so there's a uh, little pick for you there. Now we know what they originate as. Let's have a look inside so everything has been done as Landini in here. Fairly basic inside though. So given what they started life as, we'd like to think everything like lights would work on them. I'd have been surprised if they hadn't have done. Same with the indicators. So if we just hop back inside, get all the lights on the dash when we start up. They are quite inside by the sounds of it. Sounded rather um, fent like to me. So we'll put this player on, we'll go and test this one out. Player needs 150, we've got 160. We aren't going to have to go far to have a look at it. Provided I didn't leave anything in the way for the last mod review. Should handle the player no problem. I see dynamic hoses there with the player. We'll try it on the Anderson trailer as we have done the other implements. Let's see if we've got brake hoses as well to couple up. Got the uh, power right on there, which seems to pull this up the field. Start blowing this one, start running out of space on the other one we're doing. Come for the last reviews. Ok, 
Okay, so issues aside, it's not actually a bad mod. The biggest issue is obviously the front mud guards. It's nice to have a different brand in the game like Landini. So a few people are pleased to see this one. But it's not 100% uh, accurate, shall we say. I've got one or two of these working around my area. One person in particular runs a selection of them. So, I'd have been surprised if we had have found any issues with that, given that it started off life as a giant's tractor. Someone's done a good job with the um, paint, etc., and decals. It's a shame they missed the uh, star a little on the mudguards. So I would say a surprise and Giants missed that when they've tested this, but um, no. So drop the plow back in the shop. It's obviously got no problem with dirt or anything like that. Anderson trailer. See how that behaves. Then we'll have a look at the shop at this and the prices. It's nice and stable on there anyway, which is good. Got a GPS doom on it, but I haven't seen any screens anywhere in the cab. So, in theory, everything should hook up. It's got two air hoses and the actual connection hoses there, so all good in that respect. So, let's have a look in the shop of these now. under medium tractors and over here so we've got our weight options 500 or 800 140 160 180 horsepower front loader yes or no wheel setup as standard wide which look a bit odd on the back for some reason narrow rear twin in all round or standard. That about sums up all the options on this tractor. So, not so exactly spoiled for choice there. So, that's where we're going to leave this mod review. So, for now, I will say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.